Uh, hey guys, uh, let's start with solving question number 18. That is find n the derivative of y is equal to 2 sine of 2x cos of 3x. Uh, we have to find the nth derivative of uh, this function. Uh, we know that 2 sine a cos b is equal to sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b. So by using this formula we can write 2 sine of 2x cos of 3x. Here uh, if we compare this then we will get this is a this is b. So this becomes sine of 2x plus 3x plus sine of 2x minus 3x. So this becomes sine of 2x plus 3x is 5x and uh, 2x minus 3x is uh, sine of minus x. So this can be written as sine of 5x minus sine of x. So uh, we know that the nth derivative, this is, so this is y and we know that nth derivative of if y is equal to sine of ax plus b then nth derivative of this function is a raised to the n sine of ax plus b plus n pi by 2. So here nth derivative of total function becomes here uh, value of a is 5 and b is 0 here value of a is 1 and value of b is 0 so just applying this formula we can write nth derivative is 5 raised to the n sine of 5x plus n pi by 2 minus sine of x plus n pi by 2 so this was actually the easy question next question that is question number 19 in question number 19 we have to find nth derivative if function y is 2 cos x cos 2x again by using the formula 2 cos a cos b is equal to cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b so by using this formula we can write uh, 2 cos x cos 2 x is equal to cos of x plus 2x plus cos of x minus 2x. So this can be written as x plus 2x is 3x. So this is cos of 3x plus this is cos of minus x. But we know that cos is even function. So cos of minus x is cos of x. So again uh, by similar formula nth derivative of cos of ax plus b is nothing but a raised to the n cos of ax plus b plus n pi by 2 so uh, if this is as this is y so nth derivative is 3 raised to the n cos of ax plus n pi by 2 plus cos of x plus n pi by 2 so this is the nth derivative of a given function again next question is that is question number 20 in question number 20 uh, we have to find nth derivative if y is equal to cos square x Again, we know that 2 cos square x minus 1 is equal to cos of 2x. So, this implies cos square x is equal to cos of 2x plus 1 by 2. So, this is cos of 2x by 2 plus 1 by 2. So, its nth derivative is as a cos square x is equal to cos of 2x by 2 plus 1 by 2. This is our y. So its nth derivative that is y n is equal to 1 by 2 is common cos of 2x nth derivative of cos of 2x is 2 raised to the n cos of 2x plus n pi by 2 and nth derivative of constant is 0. So this can be written as 2 raised to the n minus 1. Now this is by using rules of indices that is a raised to the m upon a raised to the n is equal to a raised to the m minus n. So by using this formula this can be written as 2 raised to the n minus 1 cos of 2x plus n pi by 2. So uh, this was a simple question. Next question that is question number 21. In question number 21 it is given that y is equal to sine square x. So uh, again we know that cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square x. So this implies sine square of 2x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x by 2 so it is just by rearranging its terms uh, sorry this is uh, cos square sine square x so 
uh, as this is a y function so and its nth derivative is nothing but the nth derivative of 1 by 2 which is 0 minus 1 by 2 nth derivative of cos of 2x is cos of 2x plus n pi by 2 so this can be written as minus 1 by 2 oh this is 2 raised to the n so this is minus uh, 1 by 2 into 2 raised to the n can be written as minus 2 raised to the n minus 1 cos of 2x plus n pi by 2 this is again by the rule